Well, hey friends, I hope you're doing all right today. I hope you are staying safe, staying sanitary, staying indoors, following all those social distancing guidelines you've been Googling the past few days. And I wanna say right now, welcome to our first ever Messiah PM digital video. This is it friends, and we're here in my own home. So I thought I'd start out by giving you a little tour of the place, giving you a look into the life of your local youth pastor and showing you some of the stuff that I'm gonna be up to over the next few weeks, few months. We'll see, come on. All right, y'all, so this here is my dining room, and as you can tell, I am set up for filming right now. Yeah, that table with a bunch of books on it is normally not on top of this table here. And you know, I'm not quite sure why I have four chairs around this table, seeing as how I live alone, but uh, you know, let's move on. All right, this here is my kitchen. Pretty straightforward. I'm sure you all know what a kitchen is. And this, of course, these are all the dishes that I hope to have done by the time all this stuff blows over. We'll see how that goes. All right, now we are in probably the only interesting room in this whole place. And as you can see right here by my front door, I have a bookcase fully stocked with books just so that when people come in, they think I'm well read. Now this here, this is probably the coolest thing in my home, probably the thing I like the most. It's my record player. I've had it for a little while, been collecting for a while. I got a decent collection here. If you're looking to get me something for Christmas, you know what to get me. And right now, I'm listening to American Teen by Khalid. Just got this one recently from Vintage Vinyl. Shout out to them if you're looking for a cool record store, Vintage Vinyl in the Loop, that's where you want to go. And yeah, I've been listening to that. Staying in a good mood, trying to stay entertained. So that's it, friends. This is where I'm going to be spending a lot of time for the foreseeable future. I'll be listening to some music, hopefully reading some books, definitely watching some Netflix, just like the rest of y'all. And just like everybody else, I am hoping this is over as soon as possible because I don't know if you noticed this, but something very important was missing here. Other people. Yes, if you are an extrovert like me, you might be worried about all of this alone time that you're about to have on your plate. But you know what? Personally, for me, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that this is happening in the digital age, right? Because now I get to spend time with you through these videos every Sunday. I get to text call, FaceTime, my friends, my family, anytime I want to. And of course, I'm looking forward to Sunday nights at 5 p.m. when I get to connect with my student group and hear how you guys are doing, catch up on life with you all. And so, yeah, I am, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity and the ability to stay connected and to stay relationally present with the important people in my life. And when we look at the life and the practices of Jesus Christ, we see that he was a very relationally present person as well. Jesus was always answering his disciples' questions, no matter how dumb they may have seemed. He's always able to have dinner and spend time with the people he cared about. And when things got tough, when life presented him with situations that caused him stress, that would have given him fear, that would have given him some anxiety, he didn't turn away and he didn't turn in to himself and just focus on him. Instead, Jesus dug deeper into his relationships, specifically his relationship with his father in heaven through prayer and through solitude and his relationships with his friends and his disciples. On his last night here before he was killed, Jesus ate dinner with his friends. He reminded them that they were important in his life. He reminded them that their relationships mattered to him. We're starting a new series called Experience God, and I'm really excited for this one because what we're going to do is we're going to give you some simple practices that you can put into your life now during this weird time. Simple practices that will connect you with the presence of God himself. And the first practice we're going to talk about tonight is this. Stay relationally present. Do not isolate yourself at this time. You might be physically far away. You might be physically isolated. 
but stay connected to the people in your life that matter. Stay connected to your friends, stay connected to your family, and stay connected with your student groups. In the book of Matthew, Jesus told his disciples, he told his friends this. He told them, for where two or three gather together as my followers, I am there among them. What Jesus is saying is that when we gather together as Christians, when we gather together as believers, that it's not just us in the room, it's not just us in that time, but that Jesus Christ himself, the spirit of Jesus, is there with us. And his spirit doesn't give us fear. It doesn't give us timidity. His spirit is one that gives us power, one that gives us love, and one that gives us self-confidence. So here is one way to stay relationally connected during this time. Connect with your student small groups Sunday nights at 5 p.m. through Zoom. Your group leader should have contacted you with a link on how to connect to Zoom tonight. And if they haven't, please DM us, reach out to us, email me, whatever you need to, and we will get you that connection. Because here's what it's going to be. It's going to be a time for you to connect with your friends and to connect with people who know Jesus. And here's what I want it to be. I want it to be a time where you can laugh, a time where you can tell stories, a time where you can just talk to people, a time where you can say, hey, I'm not doing too well. A time where you can say, hey, this whole thing is giving me some anxiety right now. And it's okay to say that stuff in these groups. When you stay relationally connected with each other, you don't just get to experience the support of your friends, you get the support of Jesus himself. And I don't know about you guys, but I could use some friends right now and I could use some Jesus right now for sure. And so friends, I hope you'll join me in connecting with your student groups Sunday nights at five. And I hope that through your connections relationally with your peers and with your friends, that you will see and experience a connection with the spirit of Jesus himself, the spirit of the one who loves you more than anyone in this world, the spirit of the one who is greater than any problem, any fear, any trouble we might be facing. Well, that's it, friends. That is our first Messiah PM digital video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And I hope you stay relationally present with people. Now I think it's time for some records and to enjoy some of this social distancing. See you next week.